So Twitch just made some rather significant changes to the revenue share and the community is not happy. If you're unfamiliar with the recent discussion that's been happening on Twitch, the recent discussion is that they're looking to reduce the share of what a Twitch streamer gets, which is normally 70-30 with partnered streams, down to 50-50 so then Twitch can have more revenue to run the website. Well, the decision has been made and well, the fans are not happy. So this morning, this letter was posted by the president of Twitch, Dan Clancy, on subscription revenue shares. By the way, at three o'clock in the morning. So I see what you did there. You're trying to release the bad news at the time when everybody's asleep and the rest of the day's news would cover you up. I see what you're doing there, Twitch. So what's happening? Essentially, it says we're here for these streamers. What they mean as streamers who are making over $100,000 or receiving premium deals, as they refer to the 70-30 split. We're adjusting the deal so that they retain their 70-30 revenue share split for the first $100,000 earned through subscription revenue. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It is the best way to help support the content on this channel. But let's get right back into the details. Revenue above $100,000 will be split at the standard 50-50 share split. This change will take into effect on June 1st, 2023. Twitch cites that this will affect about 10% of the total amount of streamers on Twitch right now. So if you're likely watching this, it's probably not going to affect you. But the thing is that it just seems very unfair for the people who've helped build this platform to be essentially taxed so then Twitch can have higher revenue. But don't worry you 10 percenters, there's a way to recover this and that is by running ads. Yes, it says right here that a recent bump in ad revenue share to 55% as part of the ads incentive program is a great way for these large streamers to make up the cost, if not all, of the revenue that's being cut from them. But the thing is here, that a lot of times these streamers who are that high up run these ads anyways because it's an extra source of revenue. But think about this though. So Twitch is saying like, okay, we're taking about 20% of your money. We're keeping that. Uh, you could run more ads on your channel to recover that cost, which yeah, it will definitely be a detriment to your channel about your viewership and how the experience is overall. Cause a lot of the Twitch ads, which are not skippable by the way, compared to YouTube ads, you can skip. I know many of these large 10% streamers definitely do run ads on their channel. I mean, for example here, I like to watch his content, Hassan Abi. Obviously he's doing quite fine for himself when it comes to money wise, but think about this though. If anyone just gets that much of the revenue cut overnight, that's a big hit no matter who you are. I know for his content, he runs at the top of the hour ad break every hour because, well, he has tens of thousands of people watching him all the time. That's a good amount of revenue. So he's saying that to recover the cost that he's losing to run more ads will be like a 30 minute ad break. But don't worry, there's a new benefit that they're <laughs> they're cutting the threshold of payment in half to $50. So if you earn at least $50 on Twitch, you'll get paid instead of the $100 you were having to earn previously. Wow so gracious and twitch even mentions that they've been trying to generate more revenue through the chat for through channels like you know prime subs community gifting hype trains and ad incentive program they've seen an increase of 27 percent more streamers revenue per view which is like so you guys are earning more money still let's also keep in mind that twitch as a platform has been blowing up when it comes to revenue saying so twitch generated nearly 2.6 billion dollars in revenue in 2021 a 41 percent a year by year increase we're talking in 2016 they earned 275 million dollars in revenue and then by 2021 they're earning 2.6 Six, almost 2.7 billion dollars as a platform that's insane growth and yet twitch cites the cost of operating the website as the reason why for this cut for their streamers saying that delivering high definition low latency always available live video nearly every corner of the world is expensive i have no doubt about that it sounds very expensive to do that using the published rates from amazon web services interactive web services uh, saying, which is essentially Twitch video, live video costs for a 100 CCU streamer who streams 200 hours a month, which is insane, are more than $1,000 per month. So yeah, I can understand the cost being there, but the thing is there, guys, is that you're owned by Amazon. Plenty of money being around. We're seeing just on Twitch alone this insane growth you guys are having. We just don't buy it. So how is it that Twitch has seen this insane growth up to $2.6 billion in revenue? And then we have Amazon here as well, who is a company that's revenue is just shy of $470 billion. 
And you're telling me that the 70-30 split is just a little too generous for the streamers on the platform, which is insane because you need your community for this website to run. And then you're taxing the rich essentially to be able to run the website at the detriment of the viewers of the website as well because all these high-end streamers are going to start running more ads on their channel which is going to be a detriment to the viewership experience because i mean i don't know how you guys watch twitch but like whenever i click onto a, a live stream and there's like a minute long ad i have to sit through it's very frustrating i can only imagine seeing like one out of six when it comes to every 30 minutes on a large streamer's live stream it's gonna kill their channels i have to imagine that this is just like some pressure from execs at amazon saying you need to boost up your uh your profit margins in some capacity now i'm not quite sure exactly what the relationship is between twitch and amazon even though amazon obviously owns twitch it could be like a separate but equal kind of thing but from our end this just doesn't look good it just looks like twitch is trying to squeeze its community for more money for what they don't really cite why they mention about that they're going to try to improve services but they don't cite anything in particular it takes incredibly long for any requested services to come into twitch in the first place essentially it just looks like from the user end that they're taking from us and then we're getting less in return and this was actually off the heels of a major win for the platform as well as there's been a really serious gambling issue when it comes to gambling content in twitch and they've basically gone out and said that to the date that they plans to prohibit sharing links and referral codes to sites that include slots roulettes and dice games so basically making these uh gambling twitch streamers a little bit less profitable which is like a good thing because you don't want kids getting involved with gambling that's that's very important but then you're just gonna be able to just like take this money from the people who have helped build your platform and then just not really give them anything back in return no wonder people have been jumping over the youtube because they see the direction twitch is going and it's just not fair because right now youtube streaming they do a 70 30 split for anybody that's right you don't need to be a super special like top 10 percent streamer to be able to earn a good fair share of the revenue that you're earning for the business now you won't be seeing any twitch streamers making jumps over to youtube or any other platforms right away because they need to finish out their contract before deciding where they're going to stream next but it just seems like twitch is just kind of shooting themselves in the foot on this one maybe ninja was right to go with the decision of not being tied to down a single platform but just to be streaming everywhere all at once at the same time might be just the way to go about doing it because it's one thing about like i say about these social media platforms that it is very difficult to just kind of tie yourself down to a singular platform because if that platform does something like what twitch is doing right now it's going to be a huge detriment to you if you're a content creator you need to stretch out to multiple platforms to get people to one view your content more and also not be so reliable on one service for you to run your business if you guys want to know what to expect for halo infinite this week when it comes to news check out this video right here thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace out